Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Unfiltered. Pastor David, welcome. Thank you, John. Tomorrow night on Wednesday evening service, you'll be teaching out of Romans 13. Mm -hmm. Romans 13 uh, commands us to obey government in, in some senses. With all these mandates that we have or will be coming out or that we've had regarding the mask and lockdowns, and how do we as Christians reconcile something so outlandish like that but yet be in obedience to God's word. Well, you know, the bottom bottom line, obviously in scripture is that God created government with the intent for it to continue to maintain order in a society and government is is intended to, uh, to protect and reinforce values, protect people from, from harm and reinforce values. Now, originally, obviously, with Adam and Eve, there was no need for, quote-unquote, human government in that they were governed by God. Mm -hmm. God is their, their uh, commander-in-chief and all of that. So there was no crime or anything to be concerned about. But, but because the Lord had established within the first nine chapters the building blocks of what would one day be what is called a civilization or society, you know, he established marriage and the family, he established uh, um, human government and the church. And these are things that you find in their Genesis, in the book of Genesis in the first nine chapters. And so in anticipation of the need for man to be regulated by rules and, and order, he established government. And so government is intended to provide for the welfare of the people. And so laws are made to restrict behaviors that will uh, harm others and, and also to promote the uh, you know, human tranquility for peace. That's what government's intended to do. And the problem that we find in, 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 in all civilizations over all time is the problem of human nature. Human nature being what it is needs regulation because we are prone to evil. That's, that's, that's why we have rules and that's why we have laws because you're, you're, um, when, you, when you have a nation filled with laws, it's an evidence that you also have a nation that is filled with, uh, with the lawbreakers, mm -hmm. you know, with, with evil or wrong. And so we're going to be looking at Romans 13. It's not going to be the most in-depth study that we've ever had or could have because that's, there are entire volumes that have been written on the place of man under God and under human government. I'm just going to touch on it a little bit, but I'm going to just uh, want, to, want to show that, that we as, as Christians are to um, reveal the, the faith that we have that we're under God and his command in a way by being in subjection to those who have been placed over us in uh, authority. So the Christian should be the number one citizen, the best citizen. But obviously there are times when laws are written up that do not promote the welfare, but actually the harm. You know, so you have uh, people making mandates to get a shot or mandates to wear a mask or mandates to stay home or mandates not to go to a funeral or to to enjoy a wedding or to celebrate Thanksgiving or Christmas or a birthday celebration. And, and uh, there are things that were mandated here that have, since they were first mandated, been proven to be um, just an overreach by the government. So we'll be looking at some of that tomorrow. Not a, that's not the whole study, but uh, we'll definitely look at and touch upon that a bit as to why that is... Uh, you know, how does that work in the Christian life? You know, if I'm a Christian and they tell me, get a shot or you're going to get fired, do I get the shot? If I'm a Christian and, and I'm told you cannot congregate, but it's okay to go to a tattoo parlor mm. or to be in a riot. It's okay for that because people in, in riots and protests, they don't get sick. But if you go to a church service and begin to sing, you will, and then you're a bad person. Well, I think Christians need to really reflect on that, and we'll we'll touch on that mm. a bit tomorrow. I hope to to bring a little reason into the insanity mm. that we live in here in the United States. You know, when you have an entire month that has been designated um, transgender month, this is insanity. Mm. How do we, as Christians, how do we deal? 
with these kinds of things and how do we respond to these kinds of things and shall we bow our knee to Caesar or do we bow our knees to God? So we'll be looking at that tomorrow. Amen. Well, it's a good opportunity to invite your friends and family to come out and join us and to take a look at these things because some of the things today are just, it's crazy. Perverse. <laughs> so we do want to invite you guys to come out. Service starts at 7 p.m. tomorrow evening. Come join us for a time of worship, uh, studying God's Word and fellowship. So we look forward to seeing you. Pastor David, thank you so much for spending time with us. We look forward to seeing you and God bless you.